Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ibrahim Khan from IFG Wills. You've been invited to watch this video because your answers indicate that you would be better off going for a trust based will rather than our standard will. The trust based will costs £348 rather than the £98 for our standard will but it is designed to save you potentially hundreds of thousands of pounds in inheritance tax. Let me explain to you what is special about this will in this video so that you have all the information that you need to make a decision. Under UK law, everyone gets £325,000 as their nil rate band. That's the tax-free portion of your estate. Everything above that amount is taxed at 40% inheritance tax. So, for example, if you have an estate of £500,000, you have £175,000 above the £325,000 threshold and you could be paying potentially a tax of £70,000 to HMRC. Sounds awful, right? Well, there are a few loopholes and the biggest one of which is if you give your spouse this money, then that becomes tax-free and you have to pay £0 inheritance tax. But as a Muslim, the way that you do that is by getting a trust-based will. Let me explain. Now, understandably, non-Muslims give the majority of their assets to their spouses in their will. But for Muslims, this is a little trickier because Islamic law defines how much you can give to your spouse. So with your wife, you can give a quarter or one-eighth if there are children. And with a husband, you can give a half or a quarter if there are children. So that's not a lot of money, relatively speaking, and it means that you can't properly use the spousal exemption fully. The solution for Muslims is a trust-based will because it allows trustees to create a life interest trust for your spouse, which means that your spouse during their lifetime can use your assets and benefit from it. So for example, they can live in the family home, they can get the rent from a right to let property, but then after they pass away, the money and the assets go to the rightful inheritors, usually the children. The beauty of this whole setup is that even though the assets are going to end up with the rightful inheritors, because it's in this life interest trust, you can benefit from the spousal exemption and not have to pay inheritance tax on the sums that you would have to otherwise. I appreciate that's a lot of legal terminology. Let's give an example to explain what's going on. Let's say you've got a non-Muslim couple, uh, Mary and Freddie, and Mary passes away. She's got an estate worth £600,000. She gives that entire estate to Freddie. The inheritance tax due is £0. Now you've got Muhammad and Farah, the Muslim couple. Let's say Farah passes away with £600,000. Now, the first £325,000 of that is tax-free. Then she gives 25% to her husband because she has children as well. So that's £125,000 on top of that. So that adds up to £475,000. That's all tax-free. But the remaining £125,000, that will attract a 40% inheritance tax. So that means that there will be £40,000 in inheritance tax due to HMRC. Now, if we use a trust-based will, what would happen is that that first £325,000 would be put into a discretionary nil rate band trust. The trustees can divvy that up according to Islamic law. And then the rest of that money would be put into a life interest trust in the favour of the spouse. That means that the spouse can benefit from the assets during their lifetime, but after they pass away, it will go down to the rightful inheritors automatically and the whole thing will not attract any tax. So that is a tax saving in this situation of £40,000, very much something that we encourage Muslims to be looking into. So this diagram should explain what's going on. The first is the £325,000 that goes into the discretionary nil rate band which is just completely tax exempt and it's going to be divvied up by the trustees according to Islamic law. The rest gets put into a life interest trust, which is in favor of the spouse. They can use it during their lifetime. And then once they pass away, all of that money goes to the rightful inheritors. 
the wife or the husband, whoever gets this life interest trust, they can also decide that they want to gift what they get to the rightful inheritors. And they can even decide if they want to, that they want to not benefit from this life interest trust and then just give as gifts the entire estate to the various rightful inheritors. And gifts are also tax exempt. So this is another strategy that is possible under a trust-based will to avoid having to pay any tax. Either way, a trust-based will gives a lot of flexibility to save inheritance tax. The trust-based will is useful in a lot of other situations as well. So for example, if your inheritors are on disability allowance or other means-tested benefits, then it can be beneficial for them to not receive that money up front because it could mean that it knocks their disability allowance and stops that. There are other situations as well that can crop up, such as, for example, your children might not be uh, people that you necessarily trust with uh, a whole load of money to be given to them immediately. Uh, and a trustee in a discretionary trust can control how that money is allocated to them. It is generally also helpful just to give that trustee the flex to be able to do what they can at the time of death. Because you could die in 40, 50 years time and the situation could be completely different to how you've written it today. And giving that discretion to the trustee allows them to be able to do what's best for the inheritors in light of Islamic law. The trust-based will puts a lot of responsibility on the shoulders of trustees. So the trustees that you choose, you should be certain that they will adhere to Islamic law and generally be fair to the inheritors after you pass away. You should also consider making one of the two of your trustees uh, a professional trustee. So this is someone that will actually be paid for their service out of your estate after you pass away. But that money uh, will be worth every penny usually because they will save you a lot of headache and a lot of potentially taxes as well. A trust-based will will typically cost at least a thousand pound and can go into the thousands of pounds at solicitors firms. We use technology to speed up the process and bring that cost down dramatically and we pass that saving on to you. So for example, this video is an alternative to you going into a solicitor's office and having an interview with a solicitor where he gives you that same information. Much quicker, much cheaper. We take the quality of our wills extremely seriously. Just because this is an online service doesn't mean you're not going to get a quality experience. Every single will is drafted by a solicitor, it is reviewed by a mufti, and the documents and templates that we use to create your wills have been approved by a leading barrister in this field who has literally written some of the textbooks in this area. From your perspective, you need to give us roughly the same information as for the normal will, so it should still just take 20 minutes. We will need to do a little bit more work in the background, but you just relax and leave that to us. So there you have it, brothers and sisters. We've gone through why we recommend the trust-based will for you and what is special about it. You can, however, go for the 98 pound will as well, and the link for that is below. Of course, both of these wills are completely legally binding, just the trust-based will is a more tax-efficient one.